I'm going to be on the phone with Daniel this morning to see if we can figure out how to configure or how to wire the temperature control for the dryer correctly. And uh, once we figure that out, we're gonna start running all these shirts through the dryer to make sure we got them nicely cured. That way I can send out the five for the winners of the giveaway. And then um, I have an appointment to get a haircut because my hair is getting really long. And tomorrow we're gonna head out to Sedona, me and my wife, for a vacation over the weekend. I'm not sure if she's gonna be okay with me vlogging out there, but I'm gonna try my best to take my camera with me. And uh, while we wait for my appointment, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the screens down that I have on my press. And I'm gonna reclaim a little bit more because like I was mentioning yesterday, I got my big first break on getting orders through the shop. So I just placed an order for a bunch of shirts uh, I'm getting the artwork ready. My friend Dylan's gonna be in today helping me print some of that stuff out. I do have a couple of screens that are already coated and ready to go. I have like five that I reclaimed the day before yesterday and I'm just gonna reclaim about 10 more. That way, um, once I go through a couple of them, we still have some ready for the guys because uh, you guys know Jeremiah prints here and also Tom. So Tom hasn't been here in the past few days, but um, he mentioned to me that he was busy at work and they changed like the computer system or something. And that's kind of what he takes care of um, and on his nine to five. So um, I just want to make sure that the guys are good. I want to make sure that I'm good with my screens. So I'm going to go ahead and reclaim right now. And then um, if Daniel has some time because he's working, He's going to give me a call and walk me through the steps to set that up. So we got some uh, interesting things going on today. We have rents to pay. We have things to fix and screens to clean. So let's go ahead and get that going. And then once Dylan gets here, we're going to print out the film. I will talk to Dylan about maybe helping me put a video together for you guys to explain separations and um, just how to set up the RIP software because I've had a lot of questions uh, about that and I wanna help you guys out. So hopefully he's up for it and if he's not, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> Check this out guys. I got this new ink remover. It's called IW26. I don't know if it's hard to see on the camera, but this thing works a lot better than the 305. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how this goes. Uh, the rest of the chemicals, I'm still using the same, the liquid renew it as the um, degreaser, the hazer, and the CDR is the ink, the emulsion remover. So, check this out. I'm going to try to shoot all this in real time so you guys can see how fast this is. So, we're going to remove the ink. I don't know if you guys are having a, a hard time reclaiming or not, but, you know, follow these steps and you'll be all right. So we're going to remove the emulsion now.
so check it out. I tried to shoot that in, in real time. Now you can see there's no ghost image. We removed all the ink. We removed the, the emulsion pretty fast and then we degreased it. So I think we should be good for the day. Uh, maybe I'll do those too. And that's it. So if you guys are having a hard time reclaiming, just uh, remember that if you tape like I tape, it's gonna make your life super easy. So for example, like let's just see this screen right here. So pretty much what I did is I taped all the edges out. So there's no ink touching the frame at all times. Once I remove this tape, it's just gonna bring all that um, ink with it. But uh, you know, before, after I'm done with the screen, I'm just gonna scrape it off and it's gonna bring whatever the residue is. And then you can see the line of tape from here to the back. So the only thing that's gonna have ink in this screen is like this little rectangle. And that's gonna help me reclaim a lot faster. Also, when I coat, uh, I don't ever leave residue on the side of the scoop coater because I got a new scoop coater and it just does it for me. So it makes my life 10, 20 times easier and you guys know this. So just remember my new ink remover. It's called IW26. And you guys can order it from Tom Base at AST. The link is always below. Pay attention to that. Give them a call. Tell them that you want the chemicals that Vega Print gets for reclaiming. Tell them that you guys want the ink that Vega Print gets for printing and whatever else you guys need. Here's another quick example of how the screen looks when I'm done. And that is because I taped pretty much the whole screen. And when I'm getting ready to reclaim, all I gotta do is spray this little bit of an area and it's easy to reclaim. Uh, I don't get the frame dirty and um, that makes it so much easier, you guys. So I'm serious about it. It's every single time. Look at this one, same thing. I taped all that off. I taped this off and then the top. Now I understand a lot of people don't like to use a lot of tape because they think it's expensive or whatever, but I think your time is more expensive than tape. So. If you spend um, just a little bit of time learning how to take the screens right, you're going to have um, an easier time reclaiming if you're doing it yourself. And if you're not doing it yourself, you're going to give whoever's reclaiming a good time because he's just going to like you for all this. Trust me. I want to dedicate this part of the video to my friends over at Kinks Graphic in Ghana, that's in Africa. They have been very supportive of Vega Print. They have been tagging me on their posts and they really appreciate what I do uh, here on the channel because they have messaged me, thanking me in the past, saying how what I do is helpful for their shop as far as like uh, learning new things and creating new habits so they can be more efficient at what they do. So shout out to you guys out there. Uh, he, me and him been talking back and forth. He's saying that he's gonna visit towards the end of the year and uh, he's gonna stop in New Orleans. I don't know if I got that right, but uh, that's what I remember. And he wants to stop by in Arizona and visit the shop. So, I mean, if you guys can make it out here, I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm going to put together a video just dedicated to that and uh, maybe just interview you guys here at my shop so we can talk about um, what you guys have learned that's helped you that way uh, some of the viewers can just kind of see where some of my advice can take their shop to the next level and me translating this through the lens is one thing and me being in person at somebody's shop it's different but obviously through here you don't have to pay anything and if I'm there physically then it's a different case. But that's really what I wanted to talk about in this part of the video is that I'm very thankful for them tagging me on, my Insta on their Instagram and just for them showing some support and some feedback for what I do for them. And in reality I do it for everyone but that's just how they show their appreciation. And I know that you guys do too. And um, I do understand that not everybody has the time to tag me on their photos or just give out shout outs and that's totally cool, I'm fine with that. But for those who uh, take the time out of their day to 
give out a shout out and just kind of put out there what I'm doing for them. It makes me feel great about what I'm doing. So thank you once again, King's Graphics. I think you guys are gonna do great. I see you guys' work on Instagram. So good job on all that. I saw that you guys are getting repeating customers and reorders, so that's super awesome. And I wish nothing but the best for you guys. If uh, there's a day here in the future where I can leave the country, um, I would love to go and visit you guys as well. And, uh, and that's it. I mean, the permit that I have here for work, it's only limited to what I can do. And um, that's why I can't leave the country. But without getting into too much detail, if someday I can make it out, I will. And also, um, here I've been chatting with a Bernie. Uh, he saw yesterday's vlog and he mentioned that he was at Workhorse. So uh, he took one of the classes and he thought it was a little bit pricey. And I agree. Um, I was talking to my friend Daniel about the pricing and they do it once like every three months. And it's only like uh, maybe two classes, a couple of hours each class during the weekend. And, um, you know, I, I understand they have a bigger facility, they have a big warehouse, they have automatics, they have just like the latest equipment. And to a certain extent, I can understand why the pricing is so high. And um, I was hosting classes uh, last year at my other shop for like $35 an hour. It was just a workshop. And I would teach you just basically everything that you needed to know to get the screen on the machine, how to set up the, the screen on the machine. And then you would get to print your own t-shirt at the end of the workshop. So that didn't go very well. I was only able to take like three classes of like 10 people on each class. And, and that was kind of like the end of it. It died because maybe people thought it was too expensive. Either that or I wasn't advertising it correctly. Either way, um, I understand where you're coming from with that. And that's kind of my input on it. Uh, it. It's up and down, like I said, because of the equipment and all the stuff they offer versus like what I have to offer. But you know, you, I get to deal with everybody one-on-one. -on -one. They get to print their own shirt. So I think it's kind of cool and it's a fair price. But um, I hope that you guys uh, keep sharing the channel. I hope that you guys keep uh, liking the videos and, and watching the videos because it really helps me out a lot if I can become a full-time YouTuber and have people in here working and me just kind of walking you guys through the steps and showing you guys how this whole system uh, can be get, get better at your place, then uh, you know that'll be amazing. And you guys know that too. So um, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in here tomorrow. And uh, hopefully Daniel can give me a call here soon so we can get that thing running. Um, went to go get a haircut. I also went to have breakfast with my friend Tom, Supreme Creative. And uh, while I was out and about, I got a message from Daniel about how to wire the controller. And we definitely got something going. The elements were not turning on now. Uh, they weren't turning on before, they are now. And it looks like we're reaching the 320 degrees for curing temperature on the t-shirts so we're going somewhere with that very happy about that but my friend daniel gave me a call as well besides the message and he pretty much told me that he was getting in a lot of trouble at work for the video that i posted yesterday because some of the machines were not out to the public yet and they're still kind of like in the showroom for people that pay to go and take classes and then just things like that where when you pay the class you get the advantage to see what's new and what's coming out before they even make it public and i think his boss had a meeting with them this morning about that you know yesterday when i was in the warehouse i asked him twice if it was okay to record and uh, that's why the videos were kind of short. I just had my phone and I was recording and uh, I didn't mean to get him in trouble. I hope that he doesn't get into uh, any further trouble. I mean, it was not an issue. I took the video down, but what I am gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna upload two videos tonight. One is gonna be yesterday's without the footage of the warehouse. And then obviously this one that you guys are watching now, this one will be first and then yesterday's will be second. So uh, just wanted to fill you guys in with that information. Uh, Daniel, I'm sorry that you got in trouble. 
I didn't mean to get you in trouble. And just so you know, I'm very thankful for your help on this. We had to rewire a bunch of stuff and we had to bypass some of the wiring that's in this machine already. And it's, it's, look, it looks like it's working. So that's all that I cared about. We got a lot of jobs coming in and this thing needs to be working. So thank you for your help. And once again, I'm sorry for getting you in trouble. I didn't mean to, but that's like the good and bad news for today. So Tom, breakfast was bitter, but it was good. And um, when we get back next week, we're gonna get together and talk more business. Um, we definitely discussed a lot of good things this morning and Jeremiah's out for vacation, so am I this weekend. And we're just gonna come back and be super busy here at the shop, so let's get some work in. And I'm glad that we're gonna leave on a good note with the dryer finally doing something positive. And that's it.